Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm going to be showing you the MB Labs add-on. Now this add-on can very, very easily just one-click create characters. There's tons of different types, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to go to is the first link in the description. It'll take you to this GitHub page. This is the add-on. Go over here to this little green button that says code. Click it, and then click download zip. So once you download it, you'll have this zip file called MB Lab Master. You can just leave that alone, and now we go back into Blender. Go up here to edit and then preferences, add-ons, click install, and then go to wherever you have it installed or downloaded. Mine's right here. And then you just click install add-on. And I already have mine installed, but uh, if, once you install it, it'll bring you to this page. This will be unchecked. Just check this and then click save preferences. And now once we have that, we can click delete on our default cube and hit N on our keyboard. And now we have this new tab called MB Lab. If we click this, we have lots of different options. Um, you can select what type of character you want. There's like African female, Asian female, Caucasian female, Latino, whatever. Um, and then there's like anime characters, elves. There's all kinds, like realistic anime. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds. I'm going to go with the Caucasian male just because, um, yeah. Um, you can also uh, use inverse kinematics, use basic muscles, um, and portrait studio lights. And then click create character and then just give it a few seconds and it'll create your character with a rig and everything it's very simple it's very very easy you can create tons of different characters with this uh, when creating the character your blender might stop responding for a little bit that's completely normal but you can see now we have this and we have our character and everything and if we go on a render view we have our character fully set up right here so um once we have that, we can click the skeleton and then like go into pose mode and then we can like select bones and stuff. Uh, just like click it and we have like a hand bone. We have finger bones. You can see inverse kinematics. It's making that finger move really realistically. But yeah, but once we have our character itself, we can go back into the MB lab and we can change the character's age uh, to make him older or younger. We can change his mass. If we want him to be a big boy or like really skinny. Uh, and then we can change his tone, which is like how muscular he is. If we want him to be more muscular, we can change him to be this. Um, and uh, if you want to, you can go to random generator and then you can randomly generate um, all these things right here. Um, you have like all these things you can go right here. You can, once you're in rendered view, you can change his like eye color. Uh, the mix of his iris, the saturation of his eyes, you can change his blush on his skin, the strength of the bump map, his complexion, his freckles, how much oils on the skin, the roughness of the skin, the subsurface scattering, and how much the veins show. There's lots of different stuff you can do with this. So let's delete this character for now, and let's create a new character. Let's go, I don't know, female elf, and then click create character, and we wait for the character to create once again. Blender is going to stop responding here in a second. There we go. And just give it a few seconds and it'll create our character. So here's our character. You can see it's a female elf. Elf, she's really skinny right now. Um, if you wanted to be a little bit more like, like bigger, I guess, you can change her mass. Something like this. <laughs> I don't know, but obviously this is a very, very stylized elf. Um, but yeah, um, if you want to, you could like put like cl uh, different kinds of clothes on it, with like cloth sims and stuff. But yeah, um, we have all these different kinds of characters we can use. It's pretty much you can pretty much do anything you want um, with these characters. You can like use them in animations. You can use them in games. You can just like make renders with them. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching. The asset or the add-on is going to be the first link in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed. That really like helps uh, get the channel out there and get my videos to more people. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.